Okay, good. We're good. Okay. Sorry, everybody, for the delay and stuff like that. So, it seems like I just had to, you know, clear, like, some of my um files on here. Because, you know, wherever it's saved through, like, Google, through phone and all that stuff, it'll still stay on here. Which is kind of weird, but... That's how you got Google things, like, all connecting and stuff, so... Eh, what more can you do? So, um, let's just get started. Um, it seems like it's about uh, one, two, three, five matches. And this going to be a three-hour pay-per-view. So, they got to add a match to last minute. So. so, I don't get why they only just doing, you know, five matches. And you can tell, like, you can do, like, more than that. But, um... I don't know, it's just WWE and just lack of matches. Especially with you have yesterday the um TNA pay per view was like about I think they had like ten or eleven matches in three hours. And it was like more about, you know, I don't know what they say. Like, is the quality not the quantity? Um, the quantity is as for pay per view should be more than quality. Well, quality you need both quality and quantity. Just put it that way. You need both. So that's just me. Um, sorry, I'm just itching a little bit on the chest. Okay. Now, let's talk about these matches. We're going to start with the Women's Tag Team Championship match first. So, this is WWE Backlash uh, 2024. So, let's talk about it. Um, you got the Women's Tag Team Championship. You got the Kabuki Warriors defending it against Bianca Belair and Tay Cargill. Um, they kind of add this, you know, maybe like a week before, you know, this pay-per-view. Well, this PLE premium level event um kind of add this in the mix and you know like they had their you know six women tag at Wrestlemania with Bianca Belair, Jay Carsgill, and Naomi going against the Kabuki Warriors and Dakota Kai so Bianca, Jade, and Naomi did win that match and I think you know Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill they do you know win this match they was I think they can be the most dominant tag team that they have, so I wouldn't even know how would they lose these titles if they got like a dominant tag team like these two. So there's gonna be a lot of challenges and stuff, especially you saw from the draft. So you're getting some women tag teams out there and you know hopefully you know they keep them, make some of them look good and you know, just go from there. But um I see Belair and Cargill winning this match and being the new women's tag team championship. Nothing against the Kabuki Warriors, but I think it's just time. Randy Orton and Kevin Owens versus Solo Sokoa and Tim Atonka. Um, he's kind of making his um, in-ring debut. Tim Atonka. Um, yeah, um, you know, like, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and, like, a few others were, like, responsible for, you know, the bloodline's downfall. So, that's a, you know, and, you know, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, they both been, you know, going against the bloodline for, like, years, and, like, you know, revenge is on the mind and stuff like that. But, um... It's like they start attacking Kevin Owens and, you know, Randy Orton made the save. So, I think, he, you know, Randy Orton still got issues with the bloodline. So, this part makes sense. Um, well, you know, Solo Sokoa hasn't won the match there. He beat John Cena at, um, it was a October pay-per-view that they had. Or it was, no it was November pay-per-view, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. That was the last match that Sol Sokoa won. And um I think yeah, they of course Tim Matonga is making his debut, so Sol 
Solo and Tema. <clears throat> I think most likely they're going to win this match. So I'm going for them. A triple threat match for the women's championship. Bailey is defending against Naomi and Trophy Stratton. Um, Bailey and Naomi did have a women's championship match. Um, it didn't go quite well because Timmy Stratton interfered, so it was like end up being disqualification. Naomi and Tiffany had like a number one contenders match, and you know that didn't go well because no, I think Naomi had won and. Just Tiffany Stratton just couldn't stay away, so I don't think Tiffany Stratton is gonna win it just yet, so it's too soon. Like it would have been, you know, Naomi, okay, she would have won. But Bailey just won this title and I don't see her losing it just yet. So I'm going for Bailey to retain. World Heavyweight Championship match. Uh Damian Priest defended against Jay Uso. Um, Jay Uso won the um, number one contenders match for the World Heavyweight title match. So, it, yeah, him and Priest, you know, talking back and forth and stuff like that. And seeing a little bit of separation from, you know, Judgment Day and things like that. It's like he's going to do things on his own. So, that's quite of a surprise. Uh, I guess, what more can you say? Um, I'm trying to really not, not much to, you know, mention, but although I would like for Jey Uso to win it, but it's not going to happen and Damian Priest is going to retain because he just won the title as well. Undisputed WWE title match um cody rose defending against aj styles aj styles did like uh was like a triple threat match then end up going to advance to like going against la knight for the um number one contenders match and it ended up being um of course aj style winning it so you know i think this is the first time they ever faced so you know they teamed up when they was like in other promotions like um I think they both was in New Japan Pro Wrestling at the same time but they was teamed up. They never faced each other. So yeah, this can be interesting. Um and this is like a type of feud that you know it could go a little bit longer than anything, which would be you know, cool. So this feud probably gonna be far from over, so Regardless of who wins, but I'm going with Cody Rose since he, you know, just won the WWE title at WrestleMania, and it makes sense. So most likely, all I got everybody retaining their titles except for the tag team titles. Them the only titles that's going to um switch from what I can make of and how it all looks. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Um, again, um, sorry. For for everybody else for the like long delay for you know trying to fix this and now hopefully I can do more videos and stuff without any problems um like I said once again thank you guys um if you guys on twitch um watching it live um keep following us on here um I'm thinking of probably doing something um you know, for you guys, like, maybe just watch, um, maybe some ideas I'm doing for, like, shows and stuff like that, so just watch out for that. You guys on the podcast, um, you can look for Wrestling Fan Speak Out on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple, and wherever you get your podcast from, so please, um, you know, follow us on there, too. Uh, after you guys that's on YouTube, um, please like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, try and get to 500 um, subscribers at least by end of June. Um, check out our past videos if you like um, pro wrestling content and also Milwaukee Bus content. This will be the channel for you. Um, thank our sponsors. We thank uh, Art from the Heart, um, like fan art and like drawings and stuff like that. 
check them out on Facebook. Just look for Art from the Heart. Moving dudes, um, if you're trying to move in Wisconsin and in Florida, within those states, they can help you with your moves. So give them a call at 414. Look at me forgetting the numbers. <laughs> 414-807-4299. So, yeah. And as for LaShawn, he will help you out with your move and tell him our trail sent you. Um, other sponsors, uh, we got Trophy Athletic. Uh, if you're interested in, like, getting your trophy and awards made, you can go to them. They are in the Milwaukee area, but they also got an online um, website. So, go to www.trophyathletic.com. And they can help you out with your um, orders and stuff like that. With your, you know. You know, your awards and stuff like that. Um, and Toy Dimension. Um, is, which today is like free comic book day. Um, I don't know if they're doing it. But they do sell comic books. And also, if they also sell like, you know, collectibles. Or like toy collectibles and stuff like that. So, give them a shout out. Um. I believe 59, I think it could be wrong, 50, 5921, um, I don't have the car here, but um, they do also have a page on Facebook, so check them out there on, um, on 60th and North Avenue in Milwaukee, and they also do got a Facebook page, so check that out, go to the Toy Dimension. And also, that's where we're going to have, like, a meet and greet with um, Bushwhacker Luke there in July. So, more information will be typed on that. So, stay tuned. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, the next podcast. You guys have a good one. So, so and hopefully the pay-per-view is good for everybody. And... We'll see how it goes. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and see you next time.